Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be going over Microsoft Excel 2016 and I'm going to show you how to edit a workbook as well as update a chart. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a worksheet here and this worksheet is called Morgan's Paint and it has all the different paint products that I sell as well as current revenue and some goals for the future. Alright so first thing that I notice about this worksheet is that it has a background on it and sometimes the background can be a little bit distracting in Excel. So one of the ways that you could delete a background in Excel is if you go to the page layout tab right up here and then the page setup group you'll see this button delete background I get rid of that and now it's a little bit easier to tell what's going on so the next thing that I'm going to do is show you how to create a pie chart now uh, I have a video on creating a pie chart and editing a pie chart so I'm not going to explain too much about it but pie charts are really good for showing proportions of sales so in this case here I have my products which are all these color paints as well as the current revenue and those are the numbers that I'm interested in so I'm going to highlight through each of those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the pie chart. I can do that by going to the insert tab, the charts group, and in the bottom left of that charts group to the right of the recommended charts button you'll see insert pie or donut chart. And so if I click that right now you'll see that I have an option for a 2D pie chart which you can see on the preview and then also a 3D pie chart. I think 3D looks a little bit better so I'll go ahead and I'll click on that. All right, so I have my chart right here, and so I want to make some chart changes to this. Now, first thing that you're going to notice is that this chart takes up a lot of room. But if I decrease the size of the chart, the problem that I'm, that I'm going to have is that it's going to be harder to read the information on the chart or really tell what's going on within the chart. Now, what I'm going to do here is first thing I'm going to do is move this chart to a new location. Now, Excel has two ways of moving a chart. You can move a chart to a new sheet let's say I move it to a sheet down here and it would just appear on a sheet like this or what I could do and I could do that by copying and pasting or I could what I could do is click on the chart go to the chart tools design tab and then in the location group I could actually move the chart to its own uh, dedicated chart sheet <clears throat> so here we go if I click on move chart you'll see right here I could either put it as an object in revenue sources where it currently is or that new sheet that I created but I don't want either of those I'm actually gonna move it right up here to new sheet and I'll just call the chart revenue and this is the name of the sheet so I go there I type in revenue I click OK alright now you'll see the difference there's no grid on this sheet at all this is a own chart dedicated sheet now you'll see here that I have all my different colors here and obviously they're not synced up down here I'd have to change the individual slices but that's okay we'll worry about that for another time what I'm going to show you here is how to uh, add some data labels to the chart so you can see here I can't really tell what each one is unless I hover over it you can see this one says uh, value 54,000 and it's 25 percent so one of the things that I want to do is I want to put data labels onto this chart. So I could do that by going right up here to this plus sign that says chart elements and I could go right here to data labels and if I just click the checkbox you'll see that it adds in data labels here and it puts it in number figures. Now the problem with this is let's say that I wanted it to be percentages or something different. Well what I could do is right over here to data labels to the right you're gonna see this little arrow and I could click that arrow and I could go down here and I could actually choose where I want the data labels to appear. I kind of think on this chart the outs or the inside end works well because that's the largest part of our slice. So usually that'll work well for your pie chart. So I choose inside end and then I could go down here to more options. And when I do more options, this pane along the right side will appear. And what I'm going to do here is instead of choosing the value, I'm going to choose the percentage. And if I click percentage right here, you guys will see that the value and the percentage is both being displayed. I'll get rid of the value. I just want the percentage. Now, you'll notice right now that all of my data labels are currently selected. The way that I could tell that is with these little uh, sizing handles that go around the outside corners. You, could, you can see each of them. So if I wanted to change, say, the size of these, I could do it just like I would change regular font within Excel. So I'd go to the Home tab, the Font group, and I could increase the size right in here. Now these ones I want them to be pretty large let's try 24 and you can see right there that's a good size it's easy to read and so that's going to be effective for this chart. Again having charts that are easy to read easy to understand are, it's one of the most important things in Excel. So let's say that this one right here okay I'm gonna look at this one it says <clears throat> Series 1, orange, 14,007%. The great thing about Excel is Excel, once it creates a chart, it doesn't reference 
uh, or it references always back to the original data. So just because this chart is currently showing as it is, doesn't mean that it'll always stay this way, assuming that uh, the, the data doesn't change. So if I go right over here to my revenue sources, where this originally came from, and again, I'm looking at this one here, which I know it's gray, but it's for the orange paint. Um, probably a bad example there, but that's okay. So I, this is the orange one. So if I go right here to orange, and it's currently 14,000 or 7%. Let's say that one month, <coughs> we just had a great month selling orange paint, and it multiplied by 10. So now it's 140,000. So I'm going to type in 140, and so they're 140,000. I press enter. You'll see that these numbers update, and so that was the gray slice that we were originally looking at. And so if I go back to the revenue source now, you're going to see that this gray slice is now a much larger piece. It's 41%. So you can see that it originally was 7%, now it's 41%. <coughs> Excuse me. So that size gets updated as you change the original source. So that's why it's always important to, uh, when you create pie charts, refer back to that original source. And if you need to change it, you change it in one place where the data actually is and it will be updated along with the pie chart itself so hopefully this video has explained a little bit about how to edit your workbook and then a little bit more about how to create a chart and eventually edit your chart and especially things like the data labels and how to view your charts so anyway i hope this video has helped you out if it has please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to or if you have any questions please put it in the comment section below and as always if you want to learn more about excel please check out my my Excel 2016 playlist for more information. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.